go on dates. During the day, all I was doing was reading books, posting in the community, and talking to guys about stuff. That's all I did. I quit the New York Times. It's literally all I, it's all I fucking did. But the fact is, in the end, it's like part of the process, and it's, I don't regret a single thing because, you know, I've got to live with a kick ass girlfriend. Like, I can look in the mirror and fucking like the guy I see in the mirror for a change and not want to, like, get plastic surgery or kill myself. So, so, like, you know, in the end, you come out, it's almost like, I'll get pretentious since we're in a bookstore, but Joseph Campbell, The Hero's Journey. You guys, anyone know Joseph Campbell? The, he's a, he's a, he studied all the mythologies in the world. And he kind of breaks down our culture and talks about all the commonalities that are true of all religions and myths. And the hero's journey is always the same, which is you start off in your hometown or your village just kind of ignorant. And one day you're called on a quest. Maybe some knights come along and you think, I want to be like those big knights. And so you go off into the forest. And the forest is a dark place and you battle with demons, and it's, you know, which are your own subconscious. And you fight these battles and overcome these tasks. And at the end of the forest you find some illumination and you get the knowledge that you've been looking for. And then you fight your way out of the forest, and you come back to your village and the place where you live, and you use that illumination to illuminate yourself and other people. And the danger is if you get trapped in the forest, and you think the forest is reality. So I kind of think like the community thing, like it's a good thing if you do it for a year, or two years, or four years, like university. But once you once you learn your social skills, once you learn what you need to learn, then you get out and don't look, don't look back. So this is like, I mean, uh, like when you, when you when you do all this stuff, it's because the change personality. So at that point, you're trying to pull back. You still have that kind of like gain personality, gain personality. But then uh, I think you gradually pull back to your like natural old self in a way. So you have that build up confidence again. I think I think you're more you're more relaxed towards. I mean, you have a lot of uh, things you've learned. Yeah. So you kind of pull back to your old kind of natural. Yeah, I think you kind of. Yeah, I, I think you kind of integrated it, like thesis, <laughs> antithesis, synthesis, like you have your old self. And I, I think it's like my, my height of it when I was like a fucking maniac. Like I was really an unlikable guy, you know, like I gave off some weird shiny energy and I sucked up attention everywhere I went. I did fantastically well, but I was really a horrible person. Um, so you kind of come back to yourself again and bring those parts together. But I also think like, but when I think of it, I also think like the old... Me, the guy who I was before the game, it was like a, like a, like a waxy layer of skin I had to peel off to show who I was underneath because no one ever got to see me or meet me because I was too shy to talk to anyone. I couldn't look at anyone in the eye, so that wasn't who I was. So kind of get to go extreme and then you compensate, like you said.